our lesson let us put ourselves in the loving presence of god in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen are you ready to pray let us pray we praise you lord and we thank you for the opportunity to study and prepare for a good life in the future bless our teachers who inspire and guide us Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our classmates and all the people who care for us. Bless us, help us to be more attentive, patient, and diligent to understand the lessons that our teachers teach us. Bless our beloved country that we may have unity, peace, and prosperity. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hello students, welcome back again in our class in physical education. So our lesson for today is just a continuation or a review of our previous lesson which is all about the three energy systems. The human body uses energy from food to fuel movement and essential body functions. But the body cells don't get energy directly from the food. After food is digested, the carbohydrates, protein, and fat break down into simple compounds such as glucose, amino acids, and the fatty acids, which are absorbed into the blood and transported to the various cells throughout our body. So within the cells and from these energy sources, adenosine triphosphate or ATP is formed to provide fuel. The body uses three different systems to supply cells with the necessary ATP to fuel energy needs. So most of the body's activities use a continuum of all three energy systems, working together to ensure a constant supply of energy. And we also tackled about the folk dance, uh, especially in Masbate, which is the Lapay Bantige. So Lapay Bantige, the folk dance title, and the meaning is seagulls of Bantigi Island of Masbate. So it is a dance culture from a coastal Christians. So ethno-linguistic group is uh, Masbateño. So this classification is a kind of comic or mimetic. So it means that it mimic the form of a fowl. Okay, to further test your knowledge about the folk dance, especially in the Lapay Bantige, so please answer the following activity. And also, we discussed about cheer dance. So, what is a cheer dance again? Cheer dance is a coin from the words cheer and dance. So, to cheer is to shout out words or phrases. And dance is a physical activity where one expresses emotions or gestures. Okay, to further test your understanding about cheer dance, Please answer the following questions. And also the line dance which was commonly performed to the tune of the country music. So it is a kind of dance wherein participants will perform the steps in lines or rows. So participants execute the dance steps in unison at the same time and face the same direction. So there is a rare interaction among 
people because all of them perform the same steps at the same time. And lastly is the ballroom dance which is the cha-cha-cha. So let us remember the term ballroom is derived from the word ball which is turn originates from the Latin word baller which means to dance. And we already know the four basic steps of the cha-cha-cha which are first the forward step, second is the backward step, and the third one is the side step, and the last one is the rock step. Okay, so to further test your knowledge about the topic cha-cha-cha, please answer the following questions. Okay class, for your special project, you are going to make a Christmas lantern or a parol. So here are the materials that you are going to use. Bamboo sticks, string, plastic table cover, color pink and white, a paper cup, quick dry glue or hot glue gun, and cutter. So the deadline of submission is on November 12, 2021. So this project is grouped by three. So class, you can choose your members, okay? This has been your PE teacher, Hamdense Ganado Sariba. If you have comments or suggestions, you can contact me in these numbers. Or you can message me in my messenger. Thank you for watching!